Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the hybridization of XCF6 molecule. It's a chemical formula for xenon hexafluoride and to determine its hybridization we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of XCF6 molecule in which xenon atom is forming 6 bonds with 6 fluorine atoms over here. Apart from that it also has one lone pair of electrons uh, because it can have expanded octets. So once you know this information about the molecule, it becomes really easy to find out this hybridization. So hybridization can be easily determined if you know the total number of electron regions around the central atom. Here xenon has uh, 7 electron regions if you can count. There are 6 bonding pairs of electrons and there is this one lone pair or non-bonding pairs of electrons. So in total there are 7 electron regions uh, around this atom. As a result, its steric number is 7. And if you look at its table, you can see the steric number 7 corresponds to sp3d3 uh, hybridization and hence this is the hybridization for XCF6. Apart from that, you can also find out by uh, calculating the number of, um, by, by using a simple formula that I am going to show you over here. So you can also use this formula which I have specified over here that is for hybridization. Here V means the number of valence electrons that this molecule has, M is the monovalent uh, and C stands for positive charge, A stands for negative charge. This is a bit complex than find just finding out the steric number but some people do use this formula to find out that and if you put all the numbers correctly, you will come to know that the hybridization is 7 and again it corresponds to sp3d3 hybridization and hence XCF6 has sp3d3 hybridization. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.